So this will be a video on how to copy files or uh, specifically take a video from a, like a DVD and make it into an MP4 on your computer. And we're going to use a program called Handbrake to do that. It's a free program and it's pretty easy to use. When you put the DVD in, it's going to probably play it, but we don't really need to play it. What we actually want to do is open up Handbrake. When Handbrake opens, you'll be given an option to open a source, and you can see that here's our DVD. And it's just going to do a scan of the DVD, and it should come up with a little like the first picture of the first frame or some frame in it okay that looks good and the format is set to mp4 that's the default that's fine you can upload this type of file to google drive or play it on lots of different devices um, and it'll just be one file for the whole dvd which is what we want so we're just going to press the green play button which says start and code which means start changing the video into your mp4 format. Down at the bottom of Handbrake you can watch the progress. It gives a few different indicators of progress. There's a percentage. It's 0.7% complete. Uh, and there's just a beginning of a green bar beginning to creep across the side. So this will probably take um, and now this is estimating about an hour and obviously that depends on how big of a video you are writing and how fast your computer is um, but it, it will at this point you can walk away from it and it will generate your file now you want to look at the location of where the file is going to be saved it says save as and you can see the file extension is m4v and that's okay that it doesn't say mp4 because that all right so what's going on is there's the video that's being combined with the audio into one file uh, so the video type is mp4 the audio is aac and whenever you stick both of those together they go into a container file called m4v which is the complete video or the, including the audio um, so it's still an mp4 format video but the file extension is different but you know, for tech for like the non-technical purposes it doesn't really matter in other words this is where the final output file will be saved to so once you're finished you can go into your file browser and find the DVD right click on it and say eject that will uh, eject it if it's done the computer's done accessing it. Uh, that just makes sure that nothing gets corrupted and the computer will actually check to make sure it's not still using it before it pops it open. All right, so we're done with the DVD and you can move on to the next one or whatever. Well, that's how you use Handbrake to burn uh, videos from DVDs onto your computer. And it's uh, just a, only takes a couple clicks and um, it, it pretty much manages itself.